Okay, so this video I'm gonna show you how you import existing contact lists into the software. So if you had, for instance, an existing customer list or a prospecting list of, of folks that you're looking to um, communicate with using the software, you could import it here. There's a, a number of other ways to get list contacts into the, the software. You can actually generate leads lists from people who register new domains or off of Google Maps and we can show you in subsequent videos what those features are. But if you have an existing um, CSV file, a spreadsheet like the one in this screen, uh, you can import them straight into the software. Uh, it's important that uh, your spreadsheet be formatted with a header across the top and then data, individual contacts per row. And all of this information is actually optional with the exception of the phone number. Um, and you'll see that in this final column. So back in uh, the, the dashboard of the software, you want to first navigate to whatever list you want to import these contacts into. So here is our training demo list that we created earlier. And you'll see that at the moment, it has only one contact, the one that we manually created. But I'm going to use the uh, upload leads function in this upper right hand corner to bring up this dialog. So um, other important things to note is that you do want to check off that you have permission as a compliance uh, requirement. And then secondly, that phone number field does need to be formatted correctly. Uh, if it's a US number, your country code is one, and then you have a three digit area code followed by um, seven more digits. So that's how the, the phone number field will look for US based numbers. And then you just want to browse to whatever that uh, CSV file is, choose it. And then your dialog will change to this, where you're going to want to match whatever the headers were in your CSV file to the appropriate matching header that uh, the text in bulk uses. So email ID corresponds with email. First name corresponds with first name, last name, website, etc., etc. Now if your CSV file has any additional columns that don't match anything here in Chirply, then you'll want to remove those columns prior to uploading. Uh, and again, the one required column is going to be phone number. So again, I have permission. And now that I've matched all my fields, I'm going to hit the upload list button. And in just a moment, those contacts will be added to my list. And I'll refresh the list here and you'll see the new names. There we are. 